Once a young kid out of Gulfport chasing his big league dreams, over the years, Jonathan Holder has grown into a veteran pitcher that's made a lengthy professional career for himself. However, after a pair of injuries, the former Admiral, now on his third team in four years, finally looking forward to a fresh start with a clean bill of health. When Jonathan Holder became the first Gulfport High School baseball player to ever have his jersey retired, he was pitching for the New York Yankees. Since then, the former Admiral spent two years with the Chicago Cubs organization and now another change of scenery in the big city, having recently signed a minor league contract with the Los Angeles Angels. Change is definitely a part of, part of our lives. Um, going from city to city and uh, you know being with Chicago and being injured pretty much the whole time I was there was a letdown for me, but I'm excited for a new opportunity with Los Angeles Angels and uh, ready to get to spring training soon. In less than a month, Holder says he'll be reporting to camp at 100%, ready to roll, with his sights set on claiming one of the bullpen spots with the big league club almost 28 months since his last major league pitch. For 27 years, I'd never had an injury, and then back-to-back uh, -back years being hurt, um, it takes, takes its toll. Um, it's physically and emotionally challenging, uh, but you know, I tried to do my best to stay positive and work every day to try to get back to 100%. Having most recently battled back from a rotator cuff injury, Holder no doubt has what it takes to punch some tickets in LA with 165 career strikeouts and 176 and two thirds innings. Now closing in on nine years since being drafted in the sixth round by the Yanks, the former Mississippi State Bulldogs starting to gain more appreciation for health and longevity on top of simply chasing the dream. Yeah, it's big time. I mean, uh, I think the average major league career is four years, uh, so just every day that I get to be there is a blessing and I'm excited and hopefully I can make it a little bit longer. When Holder takes the diamond in Tempe, Arizona for spring training, the biggest difference will have nothing to do with fastball change of curveball, rather his one-year-old son. Whether or not Hudson actually remembers being in the clubhouse with dad remains to be seen, but that number 23 on the wall in left center should serve as a pretty good reminder. Having him now whether I do good or bad, he doesn't really care. So I can come out of the game, and if I have a, a bad outing or something, I can come out and hang with him, and uh, he brings me back, back down to earth. Um, but I'm excited to have him around the clubhouse and, and let him be a part of my journey. Also shown in the pictures, wife Nicole and dog Ellie. And if his throwing partner looked familiar, Southern Miss alum Kirk McCarty will be featuring him in the coming days as well.